Thank you for joining us for part four of our How to Build a Funnel with Canva series. To date, we have built the opt-in page or the landing page. This is the first page that people see when they click on your ad or click on a link in your email newsletter or wherever they're coming from. And after they enter, they're going to see this page, which thanks them for opting in. This button will actually launch them to this part telling them about the upsell and selling them the upsell. If they chose this option and they purchase the upsell, today what we're going to build now is the thank you page for the upsell. They are going to get 10 Canva funnel templates according to this upsell. Don't email me asking for anything like that. This is all just a demo. And they also have a coupon code. I want to keep my thank you pages super simple. All I want to do is deliver these items to them. Now, there are some people who would like to provide them with another upsell. I prefer not to lock my customers into upsell hell. To build our final thank you page, the easiest way is what I did before, which is to duplicate whatever I've done. I don't want to start with this blank canvas on the top. I'm going to duplicate initial landing page. So I'm going to go to file, make a copy, and I'm going to make sure to name this so I know exactly. Final thank you page. I'm going to swap this out with something different. If you watch the previous sessions, if you go back to the original template, there is a resource page here that has all these icons that I could use. But looking in there, I don't see an icon that would represent what I really want to say as part of the thank you. So I'm not going to use any from here. Instead, I'm going to first unlock this page because I happen to have locked it. Clicking on elements, we'll search for Thank you. Now I could use these graphics that have the word here, which is perfectly fine. That might actually work even better. If my brand is a little cutesy, a little fun, I could go for this little guy here with a dog or something like this. Granted, these are pro options, so these may not be available to you. Let me filter for free items. After looking through some of these, maybe something simple like that, especially that because I can change the color. Let me make sure I enlarge this. Put it here, and then I want to delete this one in the back. And that. I might change this to something else. It kind of looks really bland, doesn't it? So maybe I might put another blob behind it. Perhaps I put something like that in the background and change the color of it and just position it towards the back to give it a little interest. I'm not gonna try to get too crazy here. And here I will change to here is what you ordered. Now you could put a regular link here, but buttons are something people understand that there's a link. Because I have 10 templates, I'm going to click a link here, say template one and group them, probably easiest, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? And then I'm going to put this one right here at the bottom, put it close, and then I'm going to select all of them easiest to select all of them like that. I accidentally selected this text, which I don't want. I'm going to click it to unclick it. 
then I'm going to go position and tidy up. All right, so I see now that the buttons are overlapping each other because there's not enough space in between. So I'm going to push this up all the way here and move this. Well, actually, maybe I'll center this to, to the center that. And now, again, I'm going to select all the buttons, and go position, tidy up. Again, I still need a little bit more space. At this point, because I have 10 even, I'll probably just split them. Probably split them like that. And I will change these here a little later. And because that's a little big, and the key is I want them to see the links. These images here are really not that important, but it just gives something different on the page. Now that I have more space, I can actually space them out better. Position, tidy up. Yep, that's much better. And in, in fact, instead of doing that, I'll just group these all and duplicate that and then put this on the side. Now I'll go through and change the numbers. And now that all the numbers are changed, I'll probably drop this down here like that. If you've watched previous videos, you would know how to link the buttons. I will click this and right click and click link. And then I'll paste the link to the template that I want to share here. Now, again, because these are fake just for demo only, I don't have anything to paste in here, but that's how you would do to deliver your template. Down here, if I wanted to see all these pages are now not relevant, so I'll just delete these for now. Down here, if I want to, I can show them what other things are in my store that they might be interested in, especially things that are similar to this template here. Let's publish this page and see what it looks like. Now, when you click publish, it's going to ask you a few things. If you want to publish to a free domain that is part of Canva, or you want to purchase a new domain or use an existing domain, for the sake of time, I won't go through these two options. I'm just going to click free domain. Click continue. And then it's going to ask you what you want in your browser tab. And I can put a little description here if I want to. I really don't want this SEO as much. So I'm going to hide my website from search engine. And I don't want a password protection at this point. Every page that you publish should have its own URL. So I'm going to click this link to edit. And I'm going to put something like up sell dash. Thank you. Now, of course, if you want to make it difficult to guess, you can put some goobly gook here too. That's fine. And then I click preview. And this is what the link is going to be. I'm going to click publish. And it's going to say preparing your design and so on and forth. And it will give me a link to copy. And now if we view the website, there it is. For now today, all the pages that we need for this funnel are done. Next week, we are going to work on the first part to tie this landing page here to this thank you upsell page. After recording, I realized I forgot to add the coupon code to the page. I decided to skip re-recording because adding it would be pretty simple. If you've watched all the videos up to now, you should have an idea how to add it. Consider it a little challenge or homework. If you like this video, go ahead and click like and make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to also go to our website, thriveanywhere.com. Click on the free link on the very top 
and make sure you pick out something for yourself just for a thank you for watching our videos. Have a fun day, y'all. See you next time.